Well, hey, we're Trey and Melody Lover, and we're the host of Undone Redone, the podcast where we're not afraid to look around through the lens of messy. And we're very qualified to talk about messy. Trey and I were married for 11 years and divorced for six years and have been remarried for five years. And we love to bring people on the show that can talk about their own Undone Redone message. So look for us on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. We'd love to have you tune in. Also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash undone redone. Tune in, the show where we talk about the messiness of life. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday evening, the 4th of December. I'm James Spann. Again, it's an action-packed forecast, something in there for just about everybody over the next seven days. A lot of frequent, sharp changes and much to discuss. So let's dive in. Let's start with some of the Skycam shots today. We'll kind of look out the window as we like to do. That's the Tuscaloosa Skycam. Mostly cloudy and warm. We have low 70s in many spots this afternoon. Coming from Chiha State Park, a few uh, thin spots in the overcast, but still mostly cloudy. And the Gulf Shore Sky Cam, that's looking west from the top of the Phoenix All Suites. The sky on the Gulf Coast is mostly cloudy. There's the big picture, the water vapor satellite view, big trough in the west. And that is pulling down some really ugly cold air, nasty cold uh, out there. There's a visible satellite view, and you can see how we've got the broken clouds over most of the state. And yep. Pretty warm for December. Now, those were captured uh, around 1 o'clock today. Fired up the video a tad early. Headed down to Sylacauga for a weather radio programming event at Marble City Pharmacy from 3.30 to 6.30 if you want to come join us. Uh, Tuscaloosa 73. We'll expect mid-70s tomorrow. Close to a record. Uh, Birmingham's record high tomorrow is 79, set in 1998. Don't think we get that warm, but we'll be close. Ooh, but goodness, uh, it is nasty cold like we talked about over Montana, Wyoming, uh, Denver in the single digits this afternoon. Uh, some spots up in Montana are below zero in the middle of the day. And the cold air is just going to kind of seep in here in very shallow fashion Friday, Friday night and Saturday for round one. Then it kind of backs up and it comes back in more uh, full force by uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. A lot of snow issues in that cold air and ice issues up north, winter storm warnings, parts of Minnesota, the Dakotas, Wisconsin, out west, parts of Utah, Colorado, the mountains of New Mexico, closer to home, winter storm warnings for much of eastern Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, north Texas, winter storm watches in effect from Dallas, Fort Worth, up to Little Rock, Memphis, up to near Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, that's where some pretty nasty icing could be found tomorrow night into Friday. And we might see a little bit up in northwest Alabama, too. We'll talk about that. Now, in advance of the push of cold air, the air will be warm and unstable tomorrow. And there is no formal severe weather risk, just the low-end 5% possibilities over the northern part of Alabama. And again, we'll discuss that in detail here in just a moment. I guarantee it's going to rain over the next seven days. This is the rain through the middle of next week. A 5-inch bullseye uh, over parts of Middle Tennessee down into northwest Alabama. Uh, down this way, amounts of two, three inches are likely, maybe four inches in spots. You know, something along the way could be some flooding problems here before it's all over. Now, this is the ice probabilities for Friday. And uh, there's a high risk of more than a quarter inch of ice around Memphis, down in the Mississippi Delta, and to eastern Arkansas, also in parts of uh, Kentucky. But the broad ice zone on Friday runs from near Texarkana to uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And if you're traveling, it's going to be messy, nasty up and through there. So just be aware of that. That could shut down roads. There could be some power outages. That's just not good. All right, let's look at modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Big trough in the west down below that. Uh, we will have a warm day here, but icing begins to develop in parts of North Texas, East Oklahoma, Northwest Arkansas. And for us, uh, it's going to be a warm day. We'll be up in the mid-70s. Uh, both models are at 76. Uh, clouds and showers and storms will likely develop, especially tomorrow afternoon. Now, let's talk severe weather possibilities. This is the instability, the surface-based cape convective available potential energy and, and this run is a little more aggressive it's got the capes up to uh, over 1,000 joules over about the southern two-thirds of the state and that's certainly adequate for severe weather and also the bulk shear numbers are coming up a little bit still the better shear values are back in the colder air off to the west a little out of phase but with 30 knots of bulk shear between the surface and 850 millibars that could support some sustained updrafts and this is the EHI, the Energy Helicity Index, and uh, it's trying to get up there toward a 1. 
uh, over Alabama. Uh, so, you know, the wind fields are not all that strong and the lapse rates are not all that impressive. Uh, but with numbers like that, you just have to watch the storms as they fire. Uh, you don't have an Arctic front coming in from the northwest, so we'll see how it plays out. There could be a strong storm tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening, but at the moment, the chance of really, you know, an organized severe weather event looks small. All right, now, this is Friday, and this is when the icing problem really cranks up. This is midday Friday. Bad-looking ice. Uh, Dallas, Little Rock, Memphis, uh, Louisville, Cincinnati. And deeper in the colder air, you've got snow over much of east Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, southern Missouri, and the southern parts of Illinois and Indiana. And around here, just wet. A soaking rain will fall much of the day Friday. And temperatures are going to go the wrong way. And like we've discussed for days, temperatures will be all over the board. Uh, I can see almost a 50-degree swing on Friday. Could be around freezing in the shoals, uh, like 32. And then Montgomery could be around 82. Now, this is at midday. Uh, coming off the high res NAM, and uh, it's got the uh, front, which you can easily pick out from near Scottsboro uh, down to about uh, Blunt Springs, down to Tuscaloosa. Uh, the model probably does not have the resolution to handle the shallow nature of the cold air. I think the cold air will be farther to the south at that hour. Uh, but clearly, we'll probably start the day in the 60s and 70s for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Then we fall in the 40s Friday afternoon. So the high probably coming. You know, mid to late morning for Birmingham. Up in the Shoals, they'll be in the 30s all day, I think. Florence and Muscle Shoals, uh, just nasty, cold rain. Now, this is Friday night at midnight. And this is when we kind of get into some uh, issues uh, for northwest Alabama. We've got icing over north Mississippi, much of western and middle Tennessee. And I clearly think we could see some icing down into uh, northwest Alabama. Uh, these are temperatures coming off the uh, European at midnight Friday night, uh, below freezing. Haleyville, Moulton, Muscle Shoals, Russellville, Hamilton. And again, this is the line we drew this morning, and I think that's a good line. Uh, the greatest chance of freezing rain Friday night, early Saturday, will be west of that line from near Vernon to Guin to Haleyville, Decatur, and Madison. Uh, temp it's in, in freezing rain, that's rain that falls in liquid form when temperatures are below 32 and objects get coated with ice, including bridges and overpasses. Uh, we hope it's not going to be enough to cause any power outages, but it's going to be a close call. This, this is going to be a very tricky little forecast here. Uh, for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, we still project just a cold rain Friday night with no icing. Uh, but again, that line could change as we get closer. So, But uh, if you're traveling anywhere west of that yellow line, be aware of icing problems Friday night. Now, this is Saturday. The, that first wave kind of scoots on by, and, and the rain should settle down to some degree. Uh, the model still suggesting rain along and south of Interstate 20 uh, as we have overrunning, moisture coming up and over the top of the cold air. So for Saturday, we'll mention a chance of light rain at times. We'll be in the 40s all day. Parts of North Alabama could be in the 30s all day. Cloudy, cold, and miserable uh, with some light rain. Rain not especially heavy, and there should be some breaks in the rain. Uh, this is a look at the temperatures midday Saturday, and you can see everybody only in the 40s, and that's probably too warm. Uh, numbers might be uh, lower than that. Now, Sunday, the next wave comes in, and uh, that means more rain for us, more ice for Arkansas and southeast Oklahoma up along the Ohio River. But a warm tongue kind of comes up here with a warm front. And this idea has been very persistent in modeling for days, uh, a suggestion we might get up in the 50s and maybe even 60s Sunday afternoon for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston. But again, we've got the wedge over Georgia, the cold air damming effect, and the Arctic air kind of entrenched over northwest Alabama. So number Sunday will be all over the board. Muscle Shoals could stay in the 40s all day. Fort Payne and Leesburg and Center could stay in the 40s all day. But Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston might surge up into the 60s Sunday afternoon. A uh, good chance it's going to rain uh, most of the day with a warm front moving north. It just looks wet uh, with temperatures again all over the board. Now, Monday, that wave moves on by. The rain begins to taper off during the day. We turn colder again with more cold air advection. I think we'll be in the 40s all day Monday. Uh, and this is Tuesday. That's cold, man. Look at the. This is midday. You got the 35 degree line over Birmingham, the freeze line over the Tennessee Valley. Uh, these are temperatures coming off the European at midday. It's got Birmingham at 43, but I think we'll probably stay in the 30s all day Tuesday. And a north wind's going to make it feel colder. And this is Wednesday. I think Wednesday morning we'll see lows between 17 and 22 to start the day. So very cold for the middle of next week, but at least the sun comes back. Wow. 
All right, go out there a few more days, December 15th. Nice looking little storm. Hey, that looks like a snow event there for Little Rock and Memphis and rain here. Of course, this is in the land of voodoo. This is, what, 11 days away. And the end of the forecast on the 20th, troughing over the northeast United States. That's cool and dry if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.